Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Satyajit Ray also was working for an advertising firm before. Yes, starting. he was the first one. I was the second one. But there have been many now uh, since that time. Now the latest is Debakar Banerjee, who's making superb films in uh, first in Delhi, now in Bombay. So according to me, um, th that was an easy, easier way to get in, you know, because today there are quite a number of people that, and you see. Uh, the area of making commercials is one that allows you a lot of interesting, um, you know, although it is totally anonymous, nobody really knows who made an ad print. But the fact is it gives you an opportunity to try out many ideas and teaches you a very important thing, economy of statement. Because that is so important when you're making a film, just as much as when you're painting a picture, or when you're writing a poem, economy, the precision and economy is by far the most important. And that is something you learn when you come from the way, from the path I took. Now, same, same thing with Ray, although Ray never made any advertising films, but he was a visualizer. He was a visualizer and artist, you know, so he, uh, he was storyboarding. He used to write all his scripts and then he used to storyboard them all, as you know. So all his mise was storyboarded. So the question didn't arise, so it was so easy for him because he could visualize the whole film. You're talking about the sketches that he used to yes, do? Yes, yes. There were storyboards. And you met him and... Uh, oh, yes. I was, I, was, I was, you know, I, very interesting because I saw his first friend, Pater Panchali, because an uncle of mine who used to live in Calcutta, who was a commercial artist, he said I should go and see it because he knew of my interest in the cinema. So he said, do go and see this man's film because uh, uh, it's very, very unusual. So I went to see the film. And, um, and when was boom. that? When was that? 56. One year after the film was made. And uh, I was absolutely struck by the film. And um, then I watched the rest of the shows that day, never went out of the cinema. Then I came back the next day, kept doing the same until I'd saw, seen it at least a dozen times. And I said, this is, ma this is a man who, ca who taught me uh, what cinema truly is. Satyajit Rai. Satyajit Rai. Because, and of course, I didn't copy anything that he did, but I, he, he told me a very important thing, meaning in it, through cinema, that you have to make your own way. You know, you have to make your own way because you have to learn your own, you must find your own voice. And I think by seeing Pater Panchali, I found my own voice. And uh, later on, of course, 10 years after that, I, he and I, I went to meet him. And uh, later on, we became friends, of course, but uh, he was like my senior and uh, in many ways was my kind of... Uh, can uh, you remember a particular incident with Satyajit Rai that you can, you still oh, remember? Oh, many, many, because you see, one of the things that I used to do in the early days of my filmmaking, um, when I was making documentaries even, I would show him my documentaries. And so once what happened was that I, I showed him a film of mine and he said, uh, you must try and try your hand at tweets. As I said, well, I'm, who's going to finance me? Well, that's been my big problem. And uh, then, of course, uh, fortuitously, I got a, a fellowship, Homi Baba Fellowship, uh, with which I came to the States in 1971. And uh, when he, when he, then he wrote a wonderful testimony for me, uh, in which he said, you know, that everything that I would have liked him to say, he said it even without my prompting him to say anything at all. But um, with the, the, the thing that I remember most importantly of what he said to me was after I made my first film, Ankur, and I said, the first audience I will have for my film was Mr. Ray. So I showed the film to him. He saw the film and so he said, what are your expectations with this film? I said, you know, my expectation is I want this film to run for at least one weekend in Eros Cinema in Bombay. He said, he patted me on the back, he said, it'll run for many weekends. 
<laughs> which it did. It became yes. a huge success. And you know, Satoji always wanted um, to establish one thing that you know, alternate film does not mean that it's not going to be popular. He always challenged uh, this thing. Of course, which is which is which is what I have personally believed always. That uh, you see, what is important about a film? What is the most important thing? The most important thing is a film has to be engaging. It should not leave you cold and indifferent. Film has two qualities that are most important. Its ability to engage and entertain you and its ability to offer you insights into life itself. Now, you cannot do that by in a cold way. It has to engage you. It has to engage your senses. It has to engage your emotions. It, unless these are the things that happen, it cannot even be an experience. You see, so it's a very important thing about cinema. And what makes cinema do this for you is because it creates a world. It creates an alternate world in which you enter. And that world in which you can sense everything, you can experience, you know, you can actually experience life. Now, that quality that you want in your film, which is what I have been striving for all my life, with all my films. That's what everybody attempts to do. You know, when people say, oh, I want the audience to have an emotional response, they're talking about one thing. It's more than that. It's not only emotionally, you want to be involved physically with the whole film.